Hey there, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to continue where we left off in the previous video. So if you haven't watched the previous video, we basically introduced all of these um, terminology. We have asymptotic runtime, right? It is the total number of operations performed based on input size. And we have uh, the runtime notations. So we have big O, big theta, and uh, big omega. So in the previous video, we went over all this and I only went over big O because this is the important one here. This is the worst case, but I think it would be good if I showed you uh, the difference uh, when we're classifying the best case, the tight bound. So this is actually uh, the average case. Let me add that here and uh, the worst case. So worst case you already know, but let's actually look at these two. So let's go over an example here. We're taking in an integer and we're assigning it to the variable n. Then we have a variable x, we assign it zero. And for i in range n, we do x plus equal i. So this is the summation of all the numbers from zero to n, but not including n. So what is the runtime of this uh, program? As we mentioned in the previous video, and again, if you haven't watched the previous video, I highly suggest that you watch that one first. Uh, so we have x equals zero. This is a constant operation. And then within this for loop, we have x plus equal i. This is addition. So this is also a constant operation, but it is getting repeated n times because of this for loop, right? So we have n repetitions and iterations. So in total, worst case is O of n. Okay. But what about uh, the best case then? Well, it seems here that no matter how many times I run this program, it will always run n times. So if I run this program and I input five, it'll run five times. If I input 10, it'll run 10 times. Uh, there's no difference between the worst case and best case here. So the best case is also O of n. And here we had the type bound. We said it's between worst and best case. If you have the same runtime complexity for the best case and the worst case, then you can confidently say that the average case is, oh, this should be omega, sorry. Let me get that right here. Best case omega of n, right? So if you have a runtime, worst case and best case of the same complexity, then you can say that the average case is also of the same complexity because it's somewhere between the best case and the worst case. If you're between linear and linear, then of course it's linear. Right, so it's basically saying this. Okay, okay. So here we have another one, except the only difference is we have a conditional statement, and we have if n mod two is equal to zero, then we execute the code inside uh, that if condition block, which is the for loop we had earlier. So this modulus is an arithmetic operation, so it is a constant runtime operation, and we have equality here, which is a comparison operation, which is also constant O of one. So this if condition is O of one. Now, what is the worst case? Well, you have to consider something here. We have an if condition here. So only certain inputs will cause this for loop to run, right? And that is if the number is divisible by two, that means it is even. So if you have an even number input, then this for loop will run. So we can say worst case, even number O of n, right? So it's basically what we had here earlier. But now what is the best case? The best case is you get an odd number. So this for loop doesn't run at all. Instead, it just does this check. It does this assignment and that's it. This assignment and this check are both constant operations. So therefore, if you put in an odd number, after doing this check, your program terminates, right? It returns false. This for loop doesn't run. So you get omega of one constant. And then what is the average case? Well, because we don't have a specific type bound like we did earlier, where it's basically sandwiched between n and n. In this case, it's sandwiched between constant and linear. It, we can't really define a specific type bound for the average case. We can only say that it's somewhere between constant and linear. And there are other uh, runtime complexities that are in between constant and linear, which I will go over in a later video. So for now, we can't really define a specific average case. So we're going to just leave it as uh, somewhere between constant and linear. 
okay? But we can't assign it a theta of some function, okay? So that's the difference between uh, best case and worst case. And if I did this, and I said for i in range n, so let's say n times 3 x plus equal i, what is the runtime now? What is the worst case? What is the best case? So in this situation, this for loop will run three times n times, right? And as we said in our previous video, this is just in the linear category. So this is basically O of n. So now we can see worst case is actually uh, when you input an odd number, right? Because you get 3n, but technically it'll still be O of n, except if you want to get the specific runtime cost, it'll be 3n. So this is worse than n, but asymptotically, we don't need to distinguish the two. But in this case, to be specific, we'll say, worst case, you put in an odd number, the runtime is 3 times n, which is O of n. And the best case is when you put in an even number, and you get omega of n, which is linear. So your average case will be somewhere between the best case and the worst case. So specifically, it would be between n and 3n, or you can say omega of n and O of n. So in total, you get theta of n, okay? That's pretty much it for uh, runtime complexity and uh, with the difference between best case and worst case. So just to make sure you fully understand the difference between best case and worst case, I want you to give me the best case runtime of this program and the worst case runtime, and if possible, give me the average case runtime. So give me big O, big omega, and big theta. So let's see here, what is the worst case input? We have this for loop, right? And inside this for loop is a constant operation, and this constant operation gets repeated n squared times, because you have here n times n. So this for loop is n squared. Over here, we have n times 3, and inside it, we have a constant operation. So this for loop runs 3 times n times, which is O of n. So now we look at this if conditional statement. If the number is even, then it triggers this for loop. Otherwise, if it's odd, it triggers this for loop. So what is the best case? What is the worst case? Well, the worst case is the number is even. You get O of n squared. What is the best case? The best case is the number is odd. You get this. So instead of being O of n, this would be omega of n. So now, number is odd best case is omega of n. So what about the average case, the type bound? Well, it's between n and n squared, right? So we cannot say that there is a definitive uh, runtime complexity for big theta, right? Because the best case and the worst case, they're not the same time complexity. So you can't really uh, specify an exact runtime complexity for big theta. Therefore, we'll just say that for the average case, big theta is somewhere between linear and quadratic. Okay, so hopefully that clears things up for you uh, in terms of the difference between uh, identifying the runtime complexity, the worst case, best case, and average case. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. And hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned a lot. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.